Well, I'm stuck in way more traffic than usual on a um, on a left-hand turn I take on Tuesdays. I have to tell you a story because I'm just bored solid here in traffic. And I'm actually on my third two-minute, well, estimated two-minute video. But I knew a guy in the Midwest they called Suede, and why would I change a name like that? So he and I were, and by the way, this was at the first year of my book. Now what does that mean? No, not that it was published. I still don't have one published. What it means was the epiphany to write one. And, uh, by the way, we can get into that a million years, a million times, and talk about it forever. It was an epiphany, and those happen once. So, if you think you're having an epiphany, and you thought you had one yesterday, you're not having an epiphany. If you thought you had one four years ago, you're not having an epiphany. If you thought you had one, maybe when you were born, you can have one, like, coming out, and they slap you on the butt so you can breathe, and... What? Other than that, you get one more in your life. And hence, here I am in traffic in a stupid job on a book I haven't written nor finished. 30 years, 20 years later. But Suede and I were in a brand new car of mine and there was a big truck in front of us. Just like that gas station over there that was way too far away for a honk to make a girl look that was filling up her gas tank. But she, uh, and she didn't look, but I was honking at her nonetheless. I wanted to wave and, uh, while I was taking off to get out, kind of like a chicken. Uh, problem was that big truck in front of us was not moving because the light was still red. And I ran right into it. Both Suede and I hit our heads on the top of the top of the car and lo and behold thank god there was no damage to the big truck I could live with the scratch I had on my bumper and I never looked back to see what the girl did at all but if she had peeked out of the corner of her eye like some people do I guess I only guess um it wouldn't have worked after she saw me run my car into a non-moving truck in the first place. <laughs>